Hey, and welcome back to Packers Corner. My name is Troy, and today is a good day, as usually is. Uh, no, I didn't receive anything in the mail, but I did get this week off for spring break, because I'm a teacher, and so I enjoy some time away, uh, mentally relax, and uh, play with my kids. But anyways, on to the good stuff here. Um, today I decided I'd make a video about qualifiers, PSA qualifiers. What are they? What do they mean? Uh, is it a bad thing? Uh you know, so I thought I'd just kind of give my two cents on what they are and what they mean to me and stuff. So, anyways, here we go. Well, what are these qualifiers? Well, there are six that PSA can offer or give you on your cards. Here are the six. You have OC, MC, PD, OF, ST, or MK. Now, the OC means off-centered. MC means miscut. PD, print defect. And OF is out of focus. Then you have ST which means a stain, and MK, which means there's a mark on it. Now, out of these six, you know, should I shy away from these, or what do they mean? You know, is this a bad thing? Well, I thought I'd give you my idea on this. Now, the top four, as you see, I had a line underneath uh, the top four. Those are four things that I cannot control. You can't control it. They're things that, have, that happen to the card while they're being produced, manufactured, cut, whatever you want to call it. Those are four things that I can't. I can't control them being off-centered. I can't control them being cut wrong or print defect if there's a difference in the color. I can't affect, uh, you know, I can't adjust it if it's out of focus. Uh, but the bottom two are ones that can be most times it prevented, like a stain. Unless it's a stain like ink got splatted on the card, uh, there's a t some type of water stain or ink stain that you have put on there, a stain, or a mark, like you know, you checklist and you, and you check them off. That, of course, would be a mark. But out of those six that I have here, the top four are the ones that we can't control. So, should we avoid these? And, uh, you know, are, are they a bad thing? Well, I'll give you my idea on, what, on them now. <coughs> Excuse me, the top four... The one that really doesn't bother me the most is OC. And the reason why, I'll give you a few uh, examples of why it doesn't affect me or bother me all that much. Here's a card that I had purchased. Again, I'm a Packer fan, so I collect some Packers. This is, is a 1955 Don Hudson rookie. And as you see here by the grade, it is a PSA 7. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit for you. It's a PSA 7. Nice looking card. It's off-centered. Could I have controlled this or anyone? No. I recently saw an 8 of this card that sold for, I don't know, about $300 plus. I saw a 7 sell for about $160, a 6 sell for about $100 and something dollars. I bought this card for like $60 or $70 a couple years back. So am I really upset about it being off-centered? Not really. It's a sweet card. The edges, the corners look really good. Could I have controlled the, it being off-centered? No, I couldn't. So I'm pretty happy about it because, uh, again, I don't want to drop two, $300 on a card um, I, I really just don't have that type of change right now. But I was very happy with this card, so um, definitely would definitely take this one. Especially there was 400 of these cards plus that have been graded by PSA. This card actually, there's about 200 cards that are graded better than this card. So I've got, you know, on the top half of the grades for about 60, 70 bucks. So there's one example. Another example, this one actually, I'll be honest, it boggled my mind. Um, this is a 1956, I'm sorry, I tried to adjust it there, 1956 Packer team card. Uh, it is a 9, it's off-centered. Uh, and the part that really boggled my mind is, uh, this card, there was 152 cards that have been tried uh, as far as graded at PSA. Only two have received a 10. Only four, including this one, have got a 9. So you're talking about the top six cards ever graded, I've got one right here. And, uh, of course, if you would have a 9 of this, or if you did see a 10, you'd be talking some serious change, $100, $200, I bought this card for $7. You're, I'm not lying to you. Seven, and look at it. Yeah, it's off-centered a bit, but I'll tell you this. It's not bad enough to say that I'm upset that I only paid 7 bucks for it. So sometimes off-centered is not a bad thing. That's my opinion, of course. It doesn't bother me because I know the edges are just as sharp as possible, and the, and the corners are beautiful. So this card, you know, there's times where it doesn't affect you too much, and it doesn't bother you at all. Um, now, are there some other ones? What about the other uh, ones that you mentioned? Okay, let me show you another one here. Here is one that is also a print defect. Now, this one happens to be a Dan Marino rookie. You'll see that it's got the PD, print defect. Now, I'm not sure uh, what the print defect is on this. Uh, someone had mentioned it to me. There's little dots somewhere on the card. I'm not sure. All I know is that I bought this card a heck of a lot less 
uh, at an 8, PSA 8 PD, than I would have if I would have bought it just a straight 8. In fact, I probably paid probably in the vicinity of 40, 40 bucks for this, I think. I don't know. To me, it was an 8. It was something that couldn't be controlled by the normal collector like I am, and so I was definitely happy with it. It looks great in my collection. In fact, I even have a John Elway PD also, which is kind of crazy, um, and it's also an 8. Couldn't have been controlled. We couldn't have done anything, so I'm pretty happy about these cards. But what about the ones you can control? Uh, I mentioned Stains, ST, and Marks, uh, MK. Well, here's an example of a Stain. Now this again, Green Bay Packers, 1963, it's a team card. You can see the NM Near Mint 7 and the ST Stain. Now what's weird about this card is I have searched this card over and over. I cannot really find a stain on this card. Um, I even looked real dark and I didn't know if there was little dots on the top right about here. I'm not sure if that's what they were talking about. If that's the case, then okay. Um, I guess that could have been... That could have been avoided, whoever had this card, and actually before it got it graded, probably could have avoided that. So um, I've heard that there's also ink stains that can happen, but this card could have been avoided. I got it. It was a 7. Didn't pay much for it. Added it to my collection. It's a nice-looking card. But again, that's just one that could have been avoided. And of course, uh, the Mark one, this is one that I recently received back from PSA. I actually got this one graded. It's a Larry Olin, uh, excuse me, Olinowski. It's a PSA 4, and it's got an MK on it. Now, I actually bought this card off auction and uh, sent it in to get it graded myself because I couldn't find one graded. Um, and uh, the one I did find graded was way too much, so I knew I was going to get a low grade. But the MK, the MK kind of boggled my mind. I looked this card over and over again, and I can't find a mark on it. I, I don't know where it is. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but I'm not too ha un unhappy about it because I knew that this card wouldn't be grade high. I just wanted it for my collection. It was a personal card for myself. So, again, the two that can't be avoided, uh, the, excuse me, the two that can be avoided, the stain and the marks, it happens sometimes. And other ones, <coughs> like off-centered, you know, it, it's going to be your call on that part. It doesn't bother me too much. The last card I'm just going to show you as an example is one I recently bought, um, this is a Bart Star. It's actually a Topps game card. You can see it's a PSA 9, and once again, sorry, off-centered. Now, I had I had one of these cards, actually, uh, my own personal one, ungraded, and I thought I'd get it graded sometime just for myself. Uh, and then I found this one online, and I bought it. Well, when I did some more research, I found out that this actual Star 71 card, there's been only 119 graded of these, okay, 119. There are zero tens, literally zero tens, and about 16 nines altogether. So you're talking about that this is one of the highest graded cards of these. And if I was to buy a nine right now, I'd probably pay 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars. I paid 10 bucks for this thing. 10 bucks. That's about as much as I'd spend to get it graded. So I'm not too un un unhappy about this card. Actually, I thought this was a pretty good steal for my own personal collection. And I usually just co collect rookies and uh, mostly you know, like insert cards like uh, you know like this one here it's like a team card although they do consider this to be Vince Lombardi's rookie this is more like a team card a play card um, and this one also I pulled it out as an example because it was an OC8 and uh, I paid very little for this card also and uh, I do have a normal one of this card but I figured at the price I couldn't pass it up it's a sweet looking card so <clears throat> my take on um, on qualifiers it's going to be up to you. If you really have your heart set on getting a high high card and uh, the qualifiers bother you, just avoid them. Uh, if you're one that you want to have a good collection, um, you're not too worried about them, you don't have a ton of money to spend, but you want to be a, you know, you have a good collection, you want to be a good collector, OCs shouldn't really bother you all that much. And if it does, you know, just don't look for them. That's just my opinion on this one. I've got a pretty good collection put together, and I do have several OCs, uh, several 9 OCs from the 50s, too, that people just got rid of for very low, um, very low prices because they, they bothered them. So anyways, that's my take on it, on qualifiers, PSA qualifiers. If you have another idea or if you have your opinion, please let me know. You know, I don't think there's a right or wrong opinion on this one. Some people like them, some people don't. So thank you for uh, watching this video and pay attention. We'll probably have some other videos that will be coming up really soon. So thank you.